What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys a video after so long, and I apologize. I really, really do. So sorry to every single one of my subscribers, my supporters, notification squad, wherever you're at. For the ones that have that bell on, I apologize. I know you guys haven't been seeing videos, and you have not been seeing streams. It was a crazy few weeks, guys. You guys knew I was so sick. I lost my voice. Then things got really hectic at work. Then we went to Whistler, Canada for two days for my girlfriend's birthday this last weekend, and we we were in a complete shit show and you guys know that i did get invited to the destiny to reveal in california and i will not be going to that and that is another thing we're going to be talking about in this video so the two things i guess i'll share with you guys to get you a little bit back on board will be the destiny 2 reveal as to why i'm not going and on top of that we'll talk about the shit show i went into at whistler canada and maybe a couple more updated things on what's to come for TKO Gaming to get you guys excited and back on board. So, for a lot of you guys that may be watching this video that are new to the channel, hey guys, we're a family, join, it's never too late. For those of you that are the long-term supporters, once again, my apologies, and so let's get into what's going on. Now, I was debating on what to talk to you guys about, and this may be a longer-than-usual video, so please bear with me. I was thinking, let's talk about the Destiny 2 because that's probably the priority amongst the two things. So I did get invited from the Activision and Bungie crew to go to Destiny 2 reveal in Los Angeles. Now you guys know the YouTube channel as of now is about at 55,000 subscribers. It's deemed worthy to be able to get an exclusive invite for the Destiny 2 event. Now first I want to say I was so humbled when I did get this invite, I was so excited Static. I wanted to jump off the walls and it was quite possibly one of the happiest days in my gaming and YouTube career now guys you know the way I am I love having a good time and I think gaming is one of those things that you just want to do to get away from the bullshit of life that's the beauty of gaming. So me being so excited, I wanted to get some more information. Now, as you guys know, I've been grinding on this YouTube grind game since like two years ago, and I haven't been growing as fast as I'd like. But as you guys know, I try to keep myself so busy in everything else in life. I just can't dedicate all my time to YouTube. And yes, I would love to have this be my primary source of income and also be my job, my livelihood. It would be amazing. But unfortunately, that's just not the way it goes so when i did get this invite i was so excited to go and i was like you know what let's see what's happening now from my experience in the past when people get invited to these events it usually is an all expense paid trip now before i get into the nitty gritty stuff i want to wish everybody that is going to this event a very very safe and happy trip i hope you guys have the best time in the world and i hope you guys get to meet all the cool people in the destiny community now for those of you that may think i'm sour or i'm just saying stupid things i'm sorry in advance i know what i'm about to tell you may catch some people off guard or may think that i'm ungrateful or something but please do not take it that way i'm so humbled and grateful for this opportunity and i really hope that there will be future opportunities for TKO Gaming so I could go there and maybe do an in real life stream or show you guys some awesome new gameplay of Destiny 2 and all of that. So anyways, we pretty much got the invite and I was like, okay, let's see how it works. So essentially, I would have had to pay for all of the travel expenses. Now at first I was like, oh, that is pretty tough for me to have to go all the way to California. Now it's not that far. I'm in Seattle, Washington, as you guys know, but I do also have a full-time job and I have a very, very busy schedule. So for me to do that, it's kind of tough. And I know a lot of you guys that do watch me stream and stuff, you guys know how busy I am. Now I know I could just sound like a complainer, like like, oh, you're just making excuses and stuff. But truthfully, guys, this is really something I would have had to plan out well in advance. And they really sent those invites out about two to two and a half weeks in advance. Now, for me, I like to get like a month in advance so I can actually plan ahead. But regardless, I would have had to pay for the whole travel expenses. Not only that, I would have to also pay if you guys obviously didn't already know with travel expenses, the hotel, the car rental, any parking that happens with that as well. And then transportation, whatever. You guys get the point. Now, for me, I was like, well, I know I'm not the biggest YouTuber, but guys, I know I could reach out to a bigger audience with destiny 2 gameplay footage so for me i was like you know maybe they can accommodate me 
to actually help with the travel expenses and that because I'm not the richest person in the world. And that is a very costly trip for one day. It would have been around $1,000 plus. So then I was like, you know what? Yeah, I don't know if I can do this. So then I contacted them and I was like, hey, is there something we can do? And they were a hard no. They said, nope, we cannot accommodate for anything. You have to do everything yourself. Now, granted, Bungie's here in Washington State. Their headquarters is about 30 minutes away from where I live. If it was here in Seattle, I would have freaking walked there. I would have crawled to Bungie and I would have been ready to go. But with this, I'm like, okay, that's pretty tough. So now I'm debating because I'm like, man, this is the first opportunity I've gotten in the two years that I've been a YouTuber and streamer for Destiny. So then I was like, you know what? Maybe I can make this work. How could I make this work? Now I thought about it. I was like, you know what? Maybe I can do like a crowdfund or like a GoFundMe or something like a Patreon for you guys. I know you guys would have been more than happy to support and get me there so I can make YouTube footage, maybe through vlog or whatnot. And guys, you don't understand. I was emailing them and i was like look i will make this happen i will work overtime i will do whatever it takes i will open a freaking lemonade stand in the next two weeks to get to where i need to be so i can financially support myself to go on this trip here was when it all fell down when they told me verbatim that i would not be able to record any destiny 2 footage at all so essentially all i would be doing would be going to play the destiny 2 game early for about an hour or two and that is it i was not allowed to record even a second of gameplay now that hit me so sideways because i was like wait I'm a content creator. I have about 55,000 YouTube subscribers. I'm so tiny. I understand that I'm not big. These bigger YouTubers, which I love them and I really wish them the best and they deserve it so much more than me. I understand that guys, but they get to not only get a full expense paid trip. Now there's flying some of these people out from across the world and paying for everything for them. Now, granted, they're much bigger than me, so I get it. I understand. But for them to say, hey, you cannot record anything, even if I walked my way from Seattle all the way to Hawthorne, California, I still would be denied. It did not matter. I was not even if I brought my own capture footage and everything. So I was a little bit butthurt about that because I'm like, wait, you're allowing these bigger YouTubers to just continuously grow and get humongous. I mean, they're already big in the Destiny community. Don't get me wrong. But the smaller YouTubers do not even get a chance. I'm like, I wasn't even allowed to point my vlog camera at a screen playing Destiny 2. Like, that's how strict they were. So I was like, you know what? I can't. It, this trip just doesn't seem worth it. Now, it really upsets me that they're not allowing the smaller content creators. And I'm not the only one. There's a many other. That It's just really sad that they're not allowing us to capture any footage. Because how can we grow? How can we speed up our growth compared to these other ginormous YouTubers? Like, I know they deserve it. But come on. You got to throw us a little bit of a bone or something. So I was like, you know what? I just can't justify it. I really, really can't. So at that point, I said, you know what, I'm going to try my best. Maybe I can work overtime. Maybe I can come up with the funds to be able to go and do this and maybe make some vlog footage just so you guys can vicariously live through my excitement at the Destiny 2 event. And trust me, guys, I was like a little kid. I'm 25 years old, but I literally felt like I was 10 years old in Disneyland when I saw that email or about to go to Disneyland. It was the happiest freaking day of my life so it's really really hard for me to make this video and talk about why i am unable to do that now granted guys i understand like i got the opportunity and i was unable to take it and it really really sucked and i know i'm complaining it sounds like i'm an asshole like bro you still got an opportunity to go to destiny 2 and play early trust me i know i know i was so grateful that i was even considered that i'm even in the scope of being one of the youtubers that they would do that for it really made me really happy but it was like man is it worth it is it worth it to spend a thousand plus to go and play this game early it's not it's really not i just couldn't justify it and it really saddened me that they i honestly only asked for like five minutes ten minutes of destiny 2 gameplay so i can give my honest opinion to you guys and you guys know how much i love destiny how much i just may have made content for this game for so long now like this is the one game that i've dedicated for youtube and streaming and all that so you guys can understand where that's coming from so 
Anyways, yeah, that was a long story, I understand, but I wanted you guys to know the decision I made and why I made that decision. Now let's talk about the Whistler Canada story. This one it really pissed me off. So this happened just last weekend. I was with my girlfriend. We went over to Whistler Canada for two days for her birthday. Oh my goodness, guys. We got into, and I'm telling, I'm saying this live. I want everyone to know this. If you go to Whistler Canada, do not stay at any Whiskey Jack resorts. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. We got into the Whiskey Jack Village Gatehouse, and they own like six or seven properties. We drove six, seven hours to get to Whistler Canada. Obviously, I drove the whole way, got there, couldn't even find the damn building or the room, and our luggage was heavy. We got there, and I'm trying to make the story really fast for you guys because I know we're running like really long on this video. And then we got there, and we said, okay, you know what? Let's finally make the best of this trip. You know, I got a nice studio. I had a double shower, a jacuzzi bathtub. Super nice. We got there. Everything seemed to be finally going right. And my girlfriend was really thirsty. And she's like, you know what? It's been six or seven hours. I need to drink some water. So she gets a glass out of the cupboard. And then she goes ahead and drinks some of the tap water. And I'm like, hey, we're in Whistler, Canada. I mean, what can go wrong? We're in the freaking mountains, right? They have Whistler mountain water here. It's clean as shit. So we're like, okay cool so she drinks the water and i looked at the water i'm like okay that's a little hazy so then we go check out the bathroom we're like oh this is super cool let's go ahead and turn on the bathtub let's relax right so we turn on the bathtub right and absolutely muddy disgusting dirty water is coming out of the bathtub thingy oh my freaking god i thought i was in a freaking horror movie turn on the shower same thing turn on the sinks same thing i was like holy shit dude what the hell is this? So we call them up. We're like, yo, you have nothing but dirty water coming out of all of your faucets. And they're like, oh, we've never had this problem before. We'll transfer you to another unit. So an hour and a half goes by. Transfers to another unit in the same building. Oh my goodness. The same thing is happening in this unit. Another two hours go by. They transfer us to another building. They downgrade us from what I paid for. We have a shitty ass place now. I mean, I shouldn't say shitty. It was still okay, but it was nothing nearly as nice as the first place. They gave us that place. The water was finally clean in this building. But then I was like, you guys ruined the first night of our stay, which was completely trash, right? We had to wake up for zip lining at like nine in the morning. It was completely trash. And I was like, you guys don't understand your first, our first night, which was the night before her birthday. It was completely ruined. Okay. So they said, don't worry. We're going to accommodate you guys for it. Thank you guys for your patience, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay, you know what? Let's not ruin this trip. We had a good second day there. Obviously, we didn't stay at the hotel. We went zip lining, had some great food, whatnot. But my girlfriend started to get insanely sick. She started getting headaches. Her throat started hurting. It was very, very bad. So we're like, what is going on? So I go back. We're about to check out because we have to get back to the States. It's also Mother's Day. And we're like, you know what? We have to get back. So I talked to them I'm like, hey, what's going on guys are you guys gonna accommodate us for the inconvenience my girlfriend's getting sick you know this is unreal like i knew it wasn't their fault so i didn't really want to get mad at the people i was talking to but they verbatim looked at me in the face and said look we don't usually accommodate people and move them around as we did for you guys so we didn't want to give you anything back but what we can do for you is the next time you come and oh my god let me repeat that the next time you come to whistler canada we can give you a 10 percent off or like a 20 percent off for your stay i said next time the last time i came was for uw seattle's freaking college weekend which was like four years ago are you serious that was when i was a freshman are you freaking serious right now that that's exactly when you actually was probably more than four years ago but whenever it was like that's when you're telling me that I can come back and get, I was like, that's ridiculous, dude. You guys are absolutely, and we had to get back to the States, so I didn't want to argue too much, but we pretty much just left. Do not go. If you guys want, go ahead and leave Whiskey Jack bad reviews or whatever you guys want to do. Disgusting, dude. Disgusting. I, w I will never, ever, 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 ever support them in any way, shape, or form. Again, um, my girlfriend is still sick. And we are going to be seeing the doctors here soon. And I know a lot of people in the stream when I told the story were like, oh, you should sue their ass and whatnot. But dude, I didn't have any of those thoughts in my brain. My main priority was to make my girlfriend's birthday good again. Make it good. Make it enjoyable. And I didn't, man, we literally had cups of water filled with dirt water. And they still tried to deny that the water wasn't dirty. It was so disgusting the way they acted. 
oh well whatever it is guys i uh, unfortunately didn't get any video footage i should have man i should have but you guys know we're in canada we're from the states so we don't really want to get charged any of the internet or cell phone usage fees so we pretty much had everything off anyways but anyways that's my two stories guys real quick for the people that did stay for this long ass video what we have coming up is a tko website finally tko website and tko merchandise will be dropping very very soon so stay in touch for that follow us on all of our social media if you haven't guys if you enjoyed the catching up please do leave a like on the video it really does help a lot once again i have nothing against bungie nothing against activision nothing against any other youtubers content creators streamers anything i love every single one of you guys i wish all of you the safest happiest trip i am vicariously living through your guys's videos so thank you guys for everything that you do you guys deserve it a lot more than i do and hopefully we can grow this family so one day I can deserve that as well and we can just grow and have so much fun so thank you guys once again for everything that you guys do hopefully things will start to calm down a little bit more here and we're going to get back on schedule for everything i'm going to be changing some stuff around as you guys already know but stay in tune for that if any of you guys want to see the destiny 2 invite as well as a couple other announcements i did post them on the twitter for those of you guys that may not believe that this small ass youtuber got invited i know i know i'm sorry i did and i don't know why but i appreciate it i was humbled thank you so much to them and uh we'll see you guys in the next video please do subscribe join the tko family if you haven't and just stay positive guys stay blessed we'll see you in the next one peace